Hello guys, my name is John Callum from Kohol Garage and here behind me is the car that we have been working on for past how many years right now and uh, now things are moving in a very quick and rapid pace as we're maximizing the resources that we currently have and what we have here is a MIG welder parts from a Corolla parts from a rear wheel drive car and we are grafting them together to form this uh, weird or interesting Frankenstein of a car right here behind me so last time on the previous video you were only been able to see the front part of the cockpit and now we have grafted the rear part of the cockpit looking now more or less like a Corolla big body let me take you guys around for a tour um, on what progress we've done so far with the car guys I would like to take a moment out of this video to ask you guys for your support like this video and subscribe to this channel um, and if you want to support us even further on the description of this video I am putting a PayPal link um, any amount helps in building the craziest builds here in the Philippines and if you want to support us regularly uh, our channel is open for memberships click the relevant link if you wish to support us and let's continue on with the video okay we're trying to make this silver car look like that white car over there as you can see our Corolla race car has no headlight has no signal light has no grill so we have borrowed so that we could already start working on the front we have just uh, spot welded uh, the rear part of the body the quarter panel um, jointed together if you notice this part over here this is the remnant of the hole for the door handle for the rear door so we are making this rear door into one whole piece eventually and then for this side we're going to rebuild this one fill in the gaps so that this becomes um, a big wheel arch over here the wheel arch of the original car is bigger than the Corolla wheel arch so we have to extend this portion in order to close the gap but by making this effort we this will allow us to really put very large diameter tires here at the back roof has been spot welded but uh, the roof line has to be welded properly this upper part is the original flooring of the uh, base car the Kia Potentia Mazda 929 and then we'll be we'll probably make a completely new floor I don't know how much of this existing floor we'll be able to use but uh, that's gonna be gonna have a new floor but we're not yet there what we have to do is to slowly slowly graft the body onto this skateboard base car I think if we are able to, we're able to properly weld the roof this will kind of look very stockish okay and this is our current conundrum the rear We'll, it's just a welding job but here is the front end of the car it's slowly slowly becoming a Corolla look we borrowed the front fascia from the Corolla race car over here so and then we had this pre-existing old bumper from I don't know somebody gave the bumper to us we accept donations actually for parts to complete this car we're very very far from really getting this car um, looking like a Corolla but we have all these bunch of random body panels that will enable us to uh, piece this car together parts of a fender so we have the bumper in place we have the headlights in place more or less zip tied so this is gonna be where really the bumper is gonna be approximately located and the next challenge is to graft two hoods and make it one long hood and one issue is that um, we want to maintain the slope of the hood hood line as much as possible so that and uh, visually uh, make the nose 
a bit lower than what it would be um, for a normal Corolla. Um, so we're pretty happy already with the placement of the headlight. So we just have to create the hood to suit. So this is the old hood and we bought a new hood. We've already <laughs> cut through the new hood that we purchased. Um, we're going to be gra cutting this one straight, cutting this one straight, uh, grafting it together. But if you look at this portion, you can see that the Corolla hood tapers to uh, slightly towards the front. So I don't exactly know what we're going to do here to fill this portion. We might probably extend the hood or what, or fill in this with metal or something. I don't know yet. Um, we'll find out once we actually get this hood grafted. These fenders are just a base. These are the stock fenders of the Mazda 929 Kia Potentia. We want to retain this part over here, the fender flare, flaring portion of it. And a bunch of the bottom part of this one. This one, I'm assuming this will completely go away. We'll be grafting parts of the Toyota fender here so that the signal lights will be able to be mounted over here. We'll have to create brackets also for the headlights so that they are properly situated but we have a janky radiator support here from um, the Corolla also so we might repurpose this one or something or the other I'm not too sure yet. I'm sorry we're against the light, but this is what the car is going to look like in the front, sort of. This is going to be a challenge, but uh, I'm sure it's surmountable. We will use whatever imagination that we possess to get this car um, looking visually like a long nose Corolla big body. Hey guys, this is Jahan from the Editing Studio and when I mean Editing Studio, basically my desktop PC where I edit all these videos. Right now, I would like to insert something in this juncture of the video which is to share with you guys the design process, how we kind of came up with what we kind of wanted to do for the car. Um, it is good practice for everybody to consider um, developing their car first uh, on a piece of paper to draw sketch it like cheap foos uh, but I'm not cheap foos I'm just uh, ordinary uh, car enthusiast uh, with a rudimentary knowledge of Adobe Photoshop so uh, a year or so ago I sat down um, eventually I came up by of course downloading a picture from the internet and the modifying said picture I was able to come up with this one again the concept was to move the cockpit towards the rear axle convert the rear door into a rear quarter panel extend the hood portion of the car to accommodate uh, an engine mounted midship so this is kind of what we had on mind when we were trying to conceptualize it uh, on graphical form and then I decided uh, to use uh, a new tool um, have an AI tool modify this image for you and so I <laughs> uploaded this image to chat GPT and the result was a very very interesting image this image over here which kind of looks very very um, close to what we want to achieve with the car except for a few dimensional differences but yeah this is basically the layout of the car uh, photorealistic um, vision for the car that we want to do and then I further asked chat GPT hey this car why don't you make it a wide bodied uh, vehicle and then chat GPT came up with this one which looks pretty sick and then furthermore I asked uh, some sort of AI also hey maybe if I insert this picture maybe um, I could have some video or something generated by AI and 
the result is what I'm going to attach right now. I think it's pretty sick. And this would be interesting for you guys to see the vision. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to the rest of the video. So for our Corolla race car, well, it doesn't have a headlight signal like grill, but uh, we will restore that one. But what's me keeping this car non-functional? Um, I just want to make sure that all gauges are working before I start driving this car with some semblance of regularity. We have brought it back to 14s back from its rally days. My company, Cone Sport Performance, made custom hub centering rings. Uh, for these wheels so these wheels for some reason has a 60 mm center bore obviously if you notice the <laughs> front and the rear wheels do not look the same they're two separate designs oddly they are the same spec offset center bore and i have three of each so i have three of these bananas three piece banana wheels and i have these uh, three pieces of these seven spokes. <laughs> I'm putting different wheels to the front and to the rear. If I paint this silver or if I paint, paint that wheel black, you won't be able to tell the difference, I believe. And again, we've completed installing this big wang over here. This is an Evo 3-ish um, spoiler. Um, future plans for this car is... Um, I don't know if I'll be able to rally again. There are opportunities to rally and all that. But if really I'm able to join the 1NZ Cup, I will be adding to the aerodynamics of this car over here. Well, I want to put a front splitter at the very least. Um, I want to make a flat floor for this and a rear diffuser. I'll really make this into a circuit car, uh, aerodynamically speaking. But for now, maybe just a front splitter um, would be something easy for us to do at this juncture. Uh, really, are we going to race this year or not or what? But regardless, as it sits now, um, it has air conditioning. It is a 1.5 liter 1NZ engine. So I'm assuming this is uh, relatively cheap to run even if I use it uh, on rotation. So I'm looking forward to use this car from time to time. I just want the gauges to work for the safety of the car. I don't want to destroy the engine. So guys, I'm ending the video right here. You're going to be able to see this long wheelbase, long hood, two-door Corolla, looking like a Corolla, actual. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Ciao.